G'day class, have you ever had an illness? Or perhaps an injury? Did you go to the doctor for it? What are you, some sort of smooth brain idiot? For $10 a bottle you could have rubbed some cabbage oil on that gangrenous limb and called it a day. I am, of course, referring to essential oils which have really taken the Facebook mothers groups by storm lately. There's absolutely no chance that you haven't heard of it, but if you haven't looked that far into it, it's basically a combination of aromatherapy and skin absorption. Aromatherapy is exactly what it sounds like. You rub something that smells nice somewhere where you can smell it, and it'll heal your mind, body, spirit, car, and your relationship with your parents. And apparently you can even absorb these miracle nutrients through your skin, so even Lord Voldemort can fit in at Starbucks. Except the problem with that is that a lot of them can actually cause irritation, blisters, or poisoning if they're applied to the skin, so maybe don't advertise that. My husband bought me some bath bombs for Christmas. He bought them from a stay-at-home mom who has it as a side hustle. I throw one in the bath and get in. My Redacted. is on fire. I message her and ask for an ingredient list. Doterra cinnamon oil. These oils are called essential not because they're necessary for survival, though from the way people talk about them I can see why you'd think that. It's because they're extracts from the bark, leaves, fruit or flowers of the plants in question. And it's worth noting that it takes a bunch of material to make these oils, so it's really not efficient at all. And when I say a bunch, I mean a bunch. A lot of these oils have a less than 0.5% yield from the plants they're extracted from, so you'd need several kilograms of some materials and hundreds of kilograms of others just to make one tiny little bottle of oil. What a colossal waste of resources. Think about it, you're a farmer. You've gone through all of this time and trouble to grow thousands of lemons, just for one parent to take 0.1% of it and vape it in their child's room. Then some people claim that impurities make them useless, so god forbid you get one iota of rainwater or pesticide in that batch. Mmm, this is garbage, go grow another thousand lemons, dickhead. <laughs> Combinations of these oils can apparently be used to treat anxiety, depression, insomnia, nausea, migraines. These oils are natural, perfectly safe and will turn your life around. I gave some to a friend who has serious depression and they snapped right out of it. Is this a remembrance or a summoning ritual? You get the idea. They're amazing. They'll make you happier than a pile of puppies. They'll put you to sleep faster than a Michael Bay film. They'll cure your cancer and suck you off while you wait. So what's the catch? It's bullshit. Good point. In a twist that could rival M. Night Shyamalan, there is no evidence to support the claims being made by essential oil manufacturers. And make no mistake, it's not just Facebook echo chambers that say this crap, it's the actual manufacturers claiming it. I'm not really sure how they get away with that, but I guess using vague terms like stress away makes it all fine. Thankfully, unlike astrology, it's actually really easy to test if essential oils work or not. Oh, this radish oil didn't bring my grandfather back from the dead? Yeah, no shit. Plus, if you look past the painfully manufactured testimonials, you'll see that no one can even prove their work in the first place. So these glorified perfumes definitely can't make your anxiety disappear. They can't fix your food poisoning. It's not really rocket science, seeing as there's no magical direct line from your nose to a sleep or calm or healthy button in your brain. In fact, the only evidence in their favour at all is one study that found aromatherapy can help cognitive function in patients with Alzheimer's disease, which has absolutely nothing to do with the claims they made in the first place. I'd also like to point out that some people advertise and recommend ingesting essential oils. Please, do not do that. Thousands of people, a lot of them children, have been poisoned from ingesting this, and some of them have actually died. It only takes a tiny bit of these oils to poison you, so anyone that's recommending you ingest them is either wildly misinformed or they're the world's shittiest assassin. Let's mix beer with essential oils. This oil will dissolve plastic, I'd better use a metal straw to put it inside my body. As well as making a bunch of dangerous and unsubstantiated claims about supposed health benefits, people that sell essential oils are straight up scam artists. As I said in my astrology video, every pseudoscience has a scam and this one is absolutely infuriating. So pyramid schemes are pretty well known for being scam- Hey, whoa, we don't call them that. What? It's not a pyramid scheme, it's a multi-level marketing scheme. What's the difference? Well, multi-level marketing is legal. 
So the essential oil industry is a huge offender in this category. There are so many MLMs that push this crap and the sad part is that it works like a goddamn charm. Before we go any further, I'd like to point out that essential oils made a billion dollars in 2019. In the US alone. One billion dollars. So as far as scams go, it's pretty big and pretty bad if you ask me. Like, people are making money off the back of fake health benefits. Anyway, let's get into the meat of the scam. Fortunately, when you search any of these companies like Dutera or Young Living, they all say right away that they're MLMs. Unfortunately, this does absolutely nothing to dissuade people from joining up. And that's pretty crazy to me. I thought this whole pyramid scheme thing was a pretty huge revelation back in the day, and now people are falling for it again? And it's not like it's cheap to do it either. To sign up to start pushing this crap on your increasingly distant friends, the most basic starter pack is like $60. Do I have to pay every month to keep my membership? No, but you do have to pay every year. And then buying actual oils from these places is even more expensive. You want 15 mils of cedar wood so that your neck can smell like a lumber yard? That'll be $20. If you want 5 mils of angelica oil, literally one teaspoon, that'll be $75. $75. That's $15,000 a litre. No wonder it's a billion dollar industry, you have to spend millions just to re-cure your insomnia every night. Now if any of you still think that this is harmless, let me try and change your mind. It might be harmless for you to go out and buy a little bit to make your house smell nice and make you feel good. But these MLM companies are really scummy. Take this guy. Eric War. He is a huge advocate for MLMs and he's written a bunch of books telling you how to get rich from it. Let's hear what he has to say about coronavirus and MLMs, shall we? Keep in mind this video is from March last year, but I don't think that makes it any less insane. Coronavirus, currently, is an issue around the world. I'd take it all back. You know what? I can see why people follow this guy. His insight truly knows no limits. What I want to do today is talk to you specifically, very specifically, about what the coronavirus means to network marketing, what you should be doing, what you could be doing. Ooh, a guessing game. Should I be wearing a mask? Should I be staying indoors unless I have to? Should I be limiting contact with other people? First piece of advice is this. Whatever you can't defend, promote. What? And here's what I mean by that. People are concerned about coronavirus. People are being sent home from schools. People are being sent home from their workplace. People in traditional jobs, there's an overabundance of caution. There has never been a more opportune moment for people to work from their homes than right now. Using technology, connecting consumers to valuable products. So I'm sure you get his message by now. He's saying that because everyone is home from work and school anyway, that you should be pushing your shitty products to them over the internet. Never, ever has there been a better time to say to people, look, how would you like to be able to work from home? How would you, be able, how would you like to not have to go into that office and be able to earn a living with your smartphone or with your laptop? This is a magical moment for people inside of our profession, why not start a small business from your home? Yeah, why not start a small business from your home? If by start a small business you mean start paying large amounts of money to people like him and then never make it back. I'm not saying that using the virus is an opportunity. I'm saying the virus has created an opportunity for you to give me more money. This video makes me so genuinely angry. He was actually trying to get people to waste their money and annoy the shit out of their friends in the middle of a pandemic. The worst part is that people actually believe this stuff will make them rich. I mean, of course they do. This guy alone is worth $40 million, and people believe that by following his advice, they can amass that level of wealth. But what they don't realize is that the only way to do that is by scamming other people to join your MLM scheme, not by joining someone else's. Just to really nail this point home, let's go into more detail about why MLMs like these essential oil shillers are nothing but cash grabs. I've taken a little squiz at the numbers and figures. Once again, I'm pretty sure that if you're watching this video, I'm preaching to the choir, but um, these statistics are insane. 
If any of you think it's plausible to make money, let alone get rich from these schemes, then maybe you'll be a bit disappointed when I say that approximately one in a thousand people make minimum wage. Yeah, so while I was editing, I realized that I've completely lied to you. What it actually says is that one in a thousand people make more than minimum wage. Uh, so, really sorry for misrepresenting MLMs on that one. We should all go join one immediately. This comes from a study that looked at a bunch of different MLMs and compiled the data. So it's not just one bad one, it's the average of a bunch of them. According to the same study, about 1 in 25,000 will actually make what the recruiters said they'd make. In fact, they went on to show that you are more likely to make money gambling in Las Vegas than you are by joining an MLM. Let's look at Duterra an MLM just for essential oils. Surely their numbers are better, right? Because their products are so good. Wrong. Again, less than 1% of recruits earned minimum wage. And in that tiny fraction of people who made more, nearly two thirds only made about what a waitress makes. In fact, this article claims that over 99% of participants will actually lose money after business expenses. So not exactly the get rich quick scheme that it's made out to be, and people struggle financially after joining MLMs. It's awful. Once again, I'll link my sources in the description just in case I did misunderstand any of it or if you just want to find more information about this stuff. I know that wasn't all directly related to essential oils, but as I said earlier, companies like Duterra and Young Living are doing this stuff as well. And the industry made one billion dollars in one country in one year. I wouldn't even be surprised if some of them claimed to have a turnip oil that wards off COVID or something. Oh wait, they totally did. In fact, so many of them did that the FTC and the FDA issued public warnings telling them to take down their fraudulent claims. Make no mistake, they were literally claiming that their products cured coronavirus. As I said, if you're just trying to make your house smell like lavender, that's fine. Go ahead and buy a tiny little bottle and hotbox your room to your heart's content. But for the love of God, if you, your children, or your partner are experiencing an actual health issue, don't try to solve it with smells, people. Just go to a professional, especially when using the essential oils wrong can literally kill you. Anyway, I know that's a bit long and rambly, but that's just how I feel about essential oils. Like and subscribe if you want to continue getting outraged with me. Have a good one.